Jack Lietum. Very nice, very nice. Let's right. go hall monitor. Here we go. Round one of the night. Oh, Falco. For the homies, two. The homies. The homies, two. All right, so Krabby uh, looking... On the defensive. Yeah, look, looking a little tight there. Now has to uh, get some kind of an advantage state himself. See how he gets in. Honestly, some, bo for both of these players, this may be just learning a new matchup because neither of these characters are particularly popular. That is true. I mean, Falco, I, I would say, is like the, the least used of all the spaces. Um, Ooh. Not, not a great not way to start reason. off. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to see that SD no matter what you're playing. He does have probably the weakest of the recoveries of the three. Well, no, Wolf's is pretty bad. Yeah, um, uh, but Wolf's also has like a very quick side B option that can mix up uh, very effectively. Uh, DJ Dipdart going to have to use the horizontal movement from Falco in order to uh, to get back some of these times. I'm off? Yep. Uh, oh, All right. yeah, that was quick. We'll find another commentator for me uh, to, to help out. Uh, but here we go. After that first stock uh, SD, DJ Dipdart's going to have to kind of buckle down here. He, he had a pretty commanding lead early, and that's a great way to start a comeback right there, getting that spike over on the left side. Yeah, that's, there's a big aerial risk if you go into the air against Falco. While his recovery is not as good as Fox's, he still has a uh, very, very threatening uh, aerial game. Yeah, and, and up tilt is the ideal way to start off one of those strings. Up tilt in an air can lead to a lot of fun stuff. Krabby trying to expand his lead here before uh, DJ catches up. Uh, Gimmerfoot's still there. So after that first arc, they were both really aggressive on each other, but they, ooh, but a great side B armoring there through the uh, the charged up F smash. I don't know damage wise if that was quite worth it, but uh, maybe 20 more percent that could have killed. So one of those differences between pit and dark pit is the launch angle that side B, oh, nice F smash catch. Uh, is the angle that uh, side B sends your opponent. I believe regular pit sends uh, straight up, uh, Dark Pits is straight out, so usually a better kill option when, when you need it. Uh, I believe the arrows have different knockback as well. Nice roll through, getting through that uh, that ledge guard. And the backer not going to be quite enough to take Krabby here. And now Krabby content to, to sit back a little bit. Play some of the arrow game. Make uh, make DJ come to him and catching him there at the ledge there for that first game. As I said earlier, Krabby, a very, very strong uh, player, but still a little under the radar. He loses to some of the best players that are here, but uh, generally does very well in bracket as, as uh, the, the night goes on. Again, thank you all for tuning in for our stream here this evening here at the Cave Fairfax. Right across the street from uh, scenic George Mason University. We have a lot of students that are here. And honestly, 85 entrants tonight, despite it being midterms right now at George Mason. So that's a, that's a pretty sizable uh, turnout. Either these players are confident enough in their grades that they're not worried about it, or they're probably supposed to be studying right now. But either way, we're glad they're here tonight. And we got a pit versus dark pit, essentially mirror matchup here, taking it to FD. It doesn't get more mirror than this. There are two wolves. <laughs> there are two pits inside you. One wants to play aggro, and one's going to play a little more defensively. Hmm. Now, Krabby, I believe probably more of the character specialist here on pit. I don't think I've seen him play anybody other than Dark Pit. So I don't know how well this is going to work out for DJ Dipdark, but SDing yet again, that's an fortunate way to start off game two, especially considering he has to need his first stock in game one. Oh, pressuring him there over the edge. He's playing pretty fast and loose with those double jumps. Like, his recovery is good, but at a certain point, he can get gimped. Or just stage biked like that. So both these players just wanting to live out over the edge. Falco last game, but to me, Pitt's the one that personally prefers the air. Nearly getting pineappled there on that recovery. Yeah, 
a lot of nares in this matchup. At just about every uh, attack from both of these players. Big old multi-hits. We're going to be here for a while. You like Palu? This is a lot of Palu style gameplay. Nice fair over the edge. But Krabby with the snipe to make sure that his recovery is safe. That was very well timed. Catching him there on the ledge. Oop. Man, that recovery is so far and just immediately going for that spike. That's two spikes this set now. Krabby is just lethal with those things. And see, that makes up for one of those weaknesses that, that Pit and Dark Pit tend to have. They don't have a lot of kill options. They, they can, well, or F smash in this case. But generally speaking, their, their kill options aren't that reliable. So being able to go for those aggressive down air spikes over the ledge just adds to his game plan so much. And very close game here right now. Krabby expanding his lead here just a little bit, but as we saw a second ago, percent doesn't mean everything in a matchup like this. One down air or Gimp could do it. Arrow snipe. <laughs> Double reflect. And yet another down air spike. That's three this set. Krabby commandingly taking it over DJ Dipdart. Now, unfortunately, Dipdart with the two of the SDs there, one in each game. 